quickly go through all the components in the package and then we will go out and test fly it. So let's begin. So the design of this quadcopter looks a lot like uh, the DJI Inspire and the camera is, uh, uh, I might be wrong on this one though, uh, but I believe the Volcara system, the Volcara quadcopters uses the same uh, kind of design. Uh, the camera is, oh, by the way, actually tiltable. Uh, not too much though, it's like um, it's probably only 25 30 degrees but that's enough so you also get a with the camera you also get a SD card included in the kit it's a 4 gigabyte one and uh, that's awesome because now you don't have to buy one yourself uh, but that's basically it you have uh, four lights on each motor and uh, here is the compartment uh, where the battery will be inserted and just a quick tip because this took a long time for me to actually realize if you close the door like that's super difficult to actually open again but simply press uh, on each side of the of the housing or the fuselage like this and it pops up also included in the package is a one cell lithium polymer battery uh, it is 600 milliamp hours and should give you a flight time of uh, seven minutes a screwdriver and a adapter for your SD card four spare propellers propeller guards discharger which goes into a USB port a manual and last but not least you get a controller and finally this one is the first one I received that actually has like text next to the buttons so you know what they do and uh, the first one says turn which is uh, like a 360 roll or a flip you also have a speed button right here which uh, basically changes your uh, control weights you have a one key return home, which is this one. It's still not GPS or anything. It's, uh, it simply comes back to the point where you started it. Uh, you also have a option to turn on or turn off your lights. Because this controller uses a spring-loaded uh, throttle stick, uh, you will have to use the start and stop button for the quadcopter to actually initiate the motors. You also have a button for your headless mode. Um, nobody's using it except beginners. Uh, you also have the option to either take photos or video. So let's insert the battery. So all you have to do is uh, flip the switch to the on position. Turn on your transmitter and go full throttle and then minimum. So basically now the quadcopter is uh, armed uh, but as you can see nothing happens if I uh, change the throttle. So what you have to do is press the start button. And to stop it you simply do this. That's basically all the information you need to know about this quadcopter, so let's go out and fly it.
So I'm back inside and as you probably could see the footage from this camera, uh, the aerial footage was absolutely terrible. Um, which is a bummer because I reviewed the Peong Toys X8 quadcopter uh, a couple of months ago and the footage from that quadcopter was actually quite surprisingly good so yeah I'm, I was not happy with the quality at all. Overall the quadcopter flew very nicely uh, I like the construction of the quadcopter uh, it seems to be very durable uh, you could probably crash it a bunch of times and it won't break uh, I also like the